here's Grundy. For 12 seasons, she reigned supreme on her unflinching, unapologetic daytime gossip fest, The Wendy Williams Show, with that signature greeting, How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? No celebrity off limits during her often scorching hot topics. Mariah, I don't know who you think you're fooling with this one, but this morning, the 59-year-old self-proclaimed queen of all media is herself the hot topic in a jarring new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? From the start, we witness an erratic and shockingly thin Wendy. This documentary is hard to watch. I know, very hard to watch. I said I wasn't going to cry because I feel like I've cried enough over the last year and a half. But what people are going to see is a broken woman who has had the world on her shoulders for so long and just cracked. Alex Finney, Wendy's niece and goddaughter, now breaking the family silence. I feel like I've been living in this secret bubble for a very long time. Lifetime producers witnessing low moments with excessive drinking, fits of anger, though, bye. I have no idea where we are, and bouts of incoherence. I have no friends. You know how many people come out to support you? You know how many people love you? No, I don't. Some people are gonna look at this and say, this is exploitation. She's being exploited. How could they do this? Right. But I will say this, first and foremost, my aunt is the executive producer everything of this documentary. And she said, now is the perfect time because I want to take ownership of my story. Our first caress for many, Wendy's story took a dramatic turn on Halloween of 2017 when she collapsed on her show. <laughs> leading some to wonder whether Wendy, who openly talked about her health struggles and battle with alcohol and substance abuse, was in trouble. Her show went on. Two years later, another setback. I have been living in a sober house, and you know I've had a struggle with cocaine, then a messy divorce, bizarre behavior, and long absences from the set followed. In early 2022, the Wendy Williams show was canceled from six years old. All I wanted was to be famous. So months later, those documentary cameras began rolling with Wendy hoping to reveal a career reboot one. But that's not what producers found. But did you have a liquid lunch? Because I came into your room and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I've been to notice one of your specialty items. So you think it perfectly fine having as many drinks as you want. Perfectly. Okay. But I'm just going to put it down. See, so keep it cool. Keep it there. Okay. Is she an alcoholic? So, in terms of being an alcoholic, I don't want to categorize her because, you know, I'm not a medical professional, but what I can say is that my aunt has had some unhealthy habits when it's come to alcohol. They discovered a lonely, agitated woman. People will look at this documentary and wonder, where's her family, right? How come family's not there saving her? Because family was shut out. We would take responsibility with regard to guardianship and personal needs to ensure that she was healthy. I'm not talking about her money. You put money over here. A New York judge appointed a guardian to manage her life and finances. That action coming after her bank, Wells Fargo, claimed in 2022 court documents that Wendy was a victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. The court is going to look at the best interest of the individual. It will be based on the evidence that was presented as to how the family was helping Wendy Williams at the time. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. Overnight, Wells Fargo telling ABC News this matter was conducted under seal. Any claims against Wells Fargo have been dismissed. There was talk that Wells Fargo got involved in this because they thought either her son, Kevin Jr., or somebody was taking advantage of her financially. Yeah. Do you know that to be true? So I personally have not seen family taking advantage of my aunt's money. I haven't. Have you ever taken money from your mother's account? No, they're not without her consent. Family members insisting their biggest concern is Wendy's well-being after noticing her apparent cognitive decline is okay. During this filming, at what point did you know something was seriously wrong? Oh, right off of that, when I saw her, she didn't have to say one thing. I knew that. Every cylinder is not firing the way it should. You are bigger than this. You are better than this. You are smarter than this. You are stronger than this. 
People around you getting paid, they're gonna tell you stuff to make you feel good. So who benefits from this documentary? Is it family? Is it managers around her who are gonna benefit from this? I think that's a question I can't even answer. I know that, I will say this, family benefiting from this, no. I, I don't, that's, no. I just hope that the person that comes out of this victorious is my aunt. Now, what is it that you would like to have? And you have already told you one thing. I've already told you. Tell me again. I want to be back on TV. Your hopes for her? Do you think that she has a prayer of actually resuming a career? I think that, well, I know that um, in talking with her, she does hope to resume a career. And my hope for her is that she does whatever she wants to do that makes her happy and that stays in the bounds of keeping her healthy. The family, feeling exasperated, tells us that Wendy is in a treatment facility, though they don't know where. They say they have heard from her and she sounds much better. Where is Wendy Williams? The two-night documentary event premieres this Saturday on Lifetime. And guys, you can catch more of my conversation with Alex on Nightline tomorrow night, too. Wow, let's do it again. Where do you start with this thing? You know, you know, it's very, very difficult. But you know, the courts have basically separated Wendy. So the family is not involved in her care, even those who really have her, you know, best interest at heart. And, and so how do you deal with this when it is, you know, the state that is running her affair? As it says, she's the executive producer when you can see that in some way, she's not really in control. Does she have the capacity to really do that? Yeah. But they say she sounds much better and that she might be making a little bit of a recovery. So hopefully we will find out a little bit more later. But for this moment, they just don't know where she is.